Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another tricky question. And this is Monday when this is going out, and I'm keeping up with the every single weekday I will post an A-level tricky question. Um, it's Sunday night when I recorded this now. I've had a really busy weekend, um, so I've not actually done this question yet. I'm just going to do it live, um, so you get to see um, how I would do a question in a kind of exam situation, really, uh, when the pressure's on, <laughs> doing it live in front of, um, well, just live for you guys. Okay, um, and talking of live, I'm going to be doing some live uh, revision sessions over the half term. Uh, and you can sign up to those, uh, links in the description. Um, I'm just going to offer one for now, just on integration. So it's going to be like two hours um, of just uh, me doing integration, sort of teaching and um, telling you all my top tips and everything I know about integration. Um, and yeah, hopefully that will go well. Um, and then if they do go well, or if I do get lots of signups, then I'll consider doing some more, maybe uh, trigonometry, parametrics, differentiation, I don't know. Let me know, uh, see what you think. Right, here we go. Right, let's do this. Um, let's do this question. Use the substitution u equals 1 plus x squared e to the minus 3x. <laughs> That's tough. Right. Um, uh, as always, what I would do is I would differentiate the substitution. Now, it doesn't seem like there's any tricky parts to differentiate there. There's no, like, square roots um, there's no obvious way for me to rearrange for x, perhaps. So you're just going to differentiate this with respect to x and just hope for the best. The u goes to 0. This is a product. Um, so um, I'm going to split it up into the x squared and then the e to the minus 3x. And I'm going to differentiate the uh, x squared part first. Uh, and then I'm going to keep this one the same. And then I'm going to add, and by the product rule, I then uh, keep the yellow one the same, and I differentiate the green one. Um, and we know that e to the anything just integrates to itself, but we have to multiply by the derivative of the input, and the derivative of um, of minus 3x is just minus 3, so I've got times by minus 3. Okay, right. So I have not spotted anything yet. <laughs> So in that case, I am just going to um, tidy it up a bit. <laughs> so 2x e to the minus 3x uh, minus 3x squared e to the minus 3x. Okay, so my first thought is we can factorise this. I'm not sure why that would help, but again, I think just having it in uh, a neater form sometimes is the key to unlock. Uh, the whole thing. So I can take out an e to the negative 3x um, and that gives me 2x minus 3x squared. And now I'm looking at the substitution, oh, not the substitution, the integral, sorry, and I can see this is very similar to this. Um, but it's not exactly the same. But if I could, if I take out an x, actually, that will help out, I think, because that would make it look a bit, little bit more like it. So I can take out um, an x outside, and that gives me 2 minus 3x. So that looks good. Um, and then, well, this e to the negative 3x, I could write that as the reciprocal. Um, I feel like I'm faffing around a lot here, but this is kind of what I would do in an exam. Just write it out in lots of different ways um, and just see what, if there are anything, anything I can uh, sort of hang my hackle on and say, yes, that is going to substitute in nicely. Um, well, that's a bit annoying because it's got this x squared there. I mean, if that x squared wasn't there, then this would be perfect. Um, that's a bit annoying. Uh, okay. Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to look at what I can substitute in. So I can get an expression for that. Um, and I'm going to do that, basically. I'm just going to get an expression for that. So I'm going to multiply through by e to the x um, and multiply through by dx. So I'm going to get um, e, sorry, I'm going to multiply through by e to the 3x and by dx. So that's going to give me e to the 3x du is equal to x 2 minus 3x dx. 
Okay, so at least that is something, that is some part of the substitution that I can replace. I can replace this blue bit here um, with this blue bit here. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my attention to what I feel is quite a problem piece here, which is this x squared just knocking around. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange and find what I could what what x squared is. So let's use that substitution again, um, which has an x squared in it, and let's make x squared the subject. So I would multiply through by e to the three x. Um, uh, because that for one gets rid of the negative, uh, just gets rid of the uh, the negative powers, which I don't like, um, and it will cancel the um, the e to the minus three x there. And yeah, that looks good. So I'm just always what I'm doing, I'm just scanning every time I do a line, just scan to make sure does that make sense? You know, just take your time. You have the time in the exam just to. It just means that you're less likely to make mistakes and won't need to go back and check afterwards anyhow. So let's um, let's minus e to the three x here, um, and that gives me an expression for x squared. And once again, if I can factorise, I generally do um, because I just think it's just it, well, it helps basically. <laughs> okay, factors are your friends. Uh, that's what I always say. Uh, mainly because I don't have many friends. <laughs> okay, uh, let's crack on. And uh, uh, that's x squared. So that that could go in. Um, and I think that uh, that might just do it. I, I think we could. I, I I think we're ready. I think we're ready to um, to rewrite this integral. I think we are. So the blue bit I could rewrite as e to the three x du. The e to the three x, which I haven't coloured, um, let's pick uh, light green. That could just stay the same, so I'll just write e to the three x there. Um, because uh, uh, yeah, because now we're going to get again e to the three x. The pink bit will be u minus one, and we could divide by e to the three x. Yes, we can. Lovely, that gives me one on top, it gives me one over here, and it gives me u minus one, du. Fantastic, I absolutely love maths. One over um, u, du. That is just beautiful, it's absolutely fantastic. And we know that integrates to ln u. Um, plus c, of course, and we can write that as the substitution uh, because we're not evaluating, so I don't have any limits to sub in. Uh, so I probably should give it in terms of x, um, which would be just this. Oh, absolutely love that. Absolutely love madass questions. Love maths, love tricky questions, and that was fun. I think I did all right. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, um, yeah, if you want to sign up to my integration session in the half term, then links in the description, and um, I look forward to seeing you there. Bye for now.